just want you to work. It's on the phone. Just spend a little bit on the. It sure is. Isn't it? <laughs> a little bit about what you put on the list of priorities for him coming into this job. Right now. Well, obviously, uh, we've got. If well, excuse me, I'll start again. If you look at the three things he mentioned, those are very reflective of the things we talked about. We were looking for someone who had uh, uh, experience in fundraising and, and marketing and ticketing and all those kinds of things. And the Oklahoma people uh, couldn't say enough about how he organized things up there in a very significant way. And the other is whether or not he can provide leadership, because changing is going to be a part of what we're doing, obviously, as we move into the Big East. There'll be some adaptations to make, and uh, you never know what other opportunities are. And uh, he is well thought of and knows everybody in uh, athletics administration in the United States uh, through his family and through his own work. And so that effort, and then obviously, with the increased emphasis on APR and uh, eligibility for championships, and the various kinds of things that are associated with making sure your student athletes are students as well as athletes and that they effectively get through the program and are successful uh, in general. Uh, those were the main things that we were highlighting and uh, again from the very beginning his name came in and although we talked to a lot of people uh, I think what we basically found was that Rick Hart in the end uh, personified the needs that we had and simply the values, the family orientation, and uh, his excitement about coming to SMU. Uh, all of those were important. The marketing aspect and uh, that directly relates to football, getting the attendance up there, and obviously basketball, the same thing. Right. Can you point towards that direction? Absolutely. We have, uh, uh, as we move forward, uh, not only through the last year of Conference USA, but also uh, into the Big East. Uh, increasing the attendance in football and basketball, men's and women's, uh, though that attendance increase is crucial. Uh, we absolutely need more people in the greater Dallas area and more of our alumni uh, involved with uh, the support of these teams. Certainly June Jones, uh, for his three years of winning, that's something to build on that we think will be very important now uh, with our basketball program under Larry Brown and uh, with the recruiting class that Rhonda had in women's basketball. Uh, we think there will be more excitement and uh, obviously this will be the last year in quote the old Moody and uh, there's just every reason for people to check us out again and uh, certainly in times past we've had great crowds and uh, we just have to be able to sell people on the fact that a collegiate experience is different in kind and uh, certainly the quality of it can be great as compared to a pro experience and so that's basically going to be our challenge is to get a town that's basically uh, oriented toward professional athletics to once again re uh, to embrace uh, intercollegiate athletics in a big way. Folks in Chattanooga couldn't say enough about his uh, re reviving the lost art of um, communication, the way he got the communication on the campus going. Yeah. Uh, did, did you feel any of that in your, in your conversations with him? Oh yeah, guys? he's well known for uh, having great lines of communication with uh, the academic community with alumni and the broader uh, city as well. And so different people we checked with all had uh, wonderful things to say about him. And, uh, you know, we're not that big. And so everybody's got to be working together and pulling together. And I think uh, it's his record and legacy that uh, he is very skilled at that. Guys, let's get Rick in here now. Okay. Let's turn up. Turner. Thank you. Appreciate it so much.